So I wanted a coat rack that would go in the corner of my room. Uh, I wanted the rack to be able to hold both like my jackets and uh, a few bags, like my backpack and my tool bag. Um, so this is the design I came up with. Uh, it's got three big hooks for holding bags and then uh, four uh, normal coat rack uh, pegs for holding jackets and stuff. Um, I have a lot of scrap wood, as you saw me picking it through there. Um, so I decided to use lots of offcuts uh, for to create kind of like a cityscape that would serve as kind of a backdrop for this project. Um, so I'm going to use my Matthias Wendell inspired, well, copied box joint jig uh, to cut the joints for the big hooks so that they'll be strong enough to hold like a fully loaded backpack and a tool bag and stuff like that. So here I am setting it up to cut quarter inch box joints. That's pretty much what I exclusively use this jig for. I think they look good and they're really strong. So. Here I am cutting the uh, other side of the hook, the box joints for the other side of the hook, the short side. Now assembling the hooks just takes a little bit of glue. So the last one took a little bit of convincing with a little hammer, but nothing too bad. Here you can see how the hooks turned out. Uh, I think they look really good. Those quarter inch box joints are gonna be plenty strong. Here I am cleaning them up on the disc sander and the belt sander. And then I added a little chamfer around the parts that you're gonna be able to touch so that it feels nicer. And then I finished up the chamfers with a little hand plane where the router couldn't reach. Now that the hooks are finished with sanding in the chamfer and everything, uh, I can glue them up with the rest of the coat rack.
So once that was all dry, um, I decided to go through and kind of file down the edges on all of the cityscape buildings. I thought this made a big difference. Uh, it made it all look a little bit more finished and less like just scrap wood. Uh, and then I moved on to marking the placement for the shelf pegs, or not the shelf pegs, but the, uh, like the jacket hooks. Uh, I had to make this little angle for my drill press so that I could drill those at an angle, obviously, so that the jackets won't just slide off. Uh, this setup worked really well. It was simple and ended up working pretty well. For the pegs, I didn't have a dowel and I didn't feel like turning one on the lathe, so I just ripped a piece of oak to the right uh, width and then ran it through my router with a quarter inch roundover to make a rough dowel. It's not perfectly round, but it's pretty close, close enough for this. Um, and I cut those to length. And this worked pretty well. I finished the whole thing with uh, just plain mineral oil. I do mineral oil for a lot of my projects. It's really simple. It looks really nice. It doesn't last very long and it, I don't think it protects the wood or anything, but it really makes the grain pop and I like how it looks. It smells nice and everything. So that's what I normally do. And yeah, this project turned out really well. Uh, I mounted it, just screwed it to the wall through a stud to make sure it would be plenty secure and I think it turned out really nice so let me know if you liked it let me know if you would have done anything differently uh, until next time